Today, I'm going to be making some vegan, gluten-free apple fritters. They're also refined sugar-free. I am going to be modifying a recipe that I found online. Um, there are quite a few things that I'm going to be changing. Um, this is from schoolnightvegan.com. To make the apple fritters, combine ground flax seed with water and then set aside to thicken. So I need two tablespoons of ground flax seeds and four tablespoons of water. Ground flax seed and water is a really great egg substitute. So if you're making anything in general that requires eggs, you can always just mix some ground flax seed with water and you should be good. Okay, I'm just gonna mix this together. And let that sit so it can thicken. So I need to peel uh, core and cube two apples. I'm just gonna dice it. This recipe calls for some lemon juice to be like sprinkled on these apple pieces here. But I don't have any lemons right now, so I'm just gonna pretend that I don't need it. <laughs> so I'm gonna just turn a saucepan on like medium low. And I'm gonna grab some coconut oil. I'm just gonna get three tablespoons, approximately three tablespoons. that to melt down. I just have some organic coconut milk. So we just need one cup of that. I'm just gonna add this to yeah I'll add this to my saucepan here. So everything can kind of melt together. So I have some sprouted uh, organic oats. I'm just gonna put coconut milk in here. Now I'm just gonna blend these into a flour. Um, this works best with a high-speed blender. If you don't have a blender yet and you're trying to get a new one, um, I have a blend tech. I, I like that one. I've had it for like 10 years. So I just have some liquid stevia drops. I'm just going to use like three uh, like dropper folds. I feel like that should be enough. Hopefully. <laughs> Not really sure. It looks like my coconut oil has melted. So I'm just going to turn this heat off and take it off the heat. Um, okay. I'm going to add this to just like a little container here get it out of the way because I'm going to use this saucepan later to make the glaze. And now I'm just going to add my flax and water combination into my milk and oil and stevia and just mix that together. I'm going to put all of this into a bowl. I need two teaspoons of baking powder, a little bit of salt, and some other things. <laughs> I'm just gonna measure this baking powder in my hand. Ooh. Ooh. It's probably enough. A little pinch of salt. Um, I'm gonna put some cardamom. A little bit, maybe like half a teaspoon. I'm gonna put some cinnamon, maybe half a teaspoon as well. Some cloves too, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. 
And yeah, I'm just gonna mix all this together. I don't think there's anything else I need to put into here right now. Just mix things together, my wet ingredients one more time, and then just pouring them into my dry ingredients. Okay, I'm just gonna add all my apples in. Hopefully they fit in this bowl. <laughs> So I'm just gonna take like a big spoonful at a time and just drop this down into my air fryer basket. I've actually placed some parchment um, in my basket so it doesn't like seep through um, or make more of a mess than it needs to. So I'd recommend doing that if you're trying to make something like this. Put some parchment down. Got my first batch I'm ready to go in. I'm just gonna turn my air fryer on 400. And I'm gonna start at like 10 minutes and check it. And we can go from there. Cause I'm not really sure how long to do this for. But in the meantime, I do wanna work on my glaze. So I have some coconut, uh, raw coconut butter. It smells really good. It's also really delicious just by itself. Um, but I'm gonna melt this down. Let me grab something to get this out of here with. I'm gonna put my saucepan on medium low and just get like a good bit of this out, maybe like two or three tablespoons. I'm also gonna add just a little bit of coconut milk to this too. And a little bit of stevia. I'll do like half a drop, half a dropper. And stir this together. All right, this is pretty much melted together. I'm just gonna turn the heat off. And I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. I think these are honestly done. They look pretty golden brown on top. So I'm just going to take these off of this parchment. Ooh, fuck. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> I've got my first batch of fritters. Here's what they look like. They're not glazed. They're just naked fritters. I've got my glaze. I'm just going to drip this over. Top some of my fritters. Okay, I'll show you this one right now. Mm. <laughs> this by itself is really good. Mm. Mm. Fuck. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Look at this thing. Vegan gluten free refined sugar free apple fritter. Straight out of the air fryer. <laughs> and it's sprouted. It's not as sprouted as. Damn. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep eating it. Oh my god, this is so good. 